Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brad. Today we're doing another episode of Keto Eats. Controversial topic on whether or not whey protein is keto friendly or not. So for today, I'm really excited about this one because I actually use whey protein fairly often. Um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. I, I've heard that it will knock you out of ketosis. I've heard that it will not knock you out of ketosis. I've heard that it will knock you out of ketosis for a short period of time and you'll come back. So a lot of different controversy around this. Some people say use it, some people say don't use it. So I'm gonna use it today and we're gonna find out. Before we get into the measurements, I wanna go over what I'm, what particular whey protein I'm using today. So I have, a, it's a, this is by a company called Vitalabs, um, and this is whey protein isolate, and I wanna just go over the ingredients with you because I know it varies. You know, some companies, this one is actually flavored vanilla, so that's the flavor that I like the most, and I know companies do different things different ways, so. Um, this particular company is uh, whey protein isolate, natural flavors, xanthan gum, stevia leaf extract, monk fruit, and sunflower lecithin. Now, those are three separate sweeteners and all three of those sweeteners are said to be keto friendly for most people, so they usually don't affect blood sugar levels. Um, now, on the other hand, the rapid spike in protein, when you consume whey protein, um, the, the thought behind it is, um, at least the people that say it will knock you out of ketosis, the thought process is that the protein levels are so fast and so into your bloodstream that your body produces insulin levels. So um, in theory, we should have lower blood sugar levels and we should um, lose ketones. So we're going to find out. We're going to see how it goes and um, we're going to prove it right or wrong. So another thing to keep in mind too, guys, is I've been doing um, keto for some time now. I'm um, going on six months, I think. So that your process on how adapted you are to things will vary. Some people, if you just start keto um, or if you've been doing keto for, for years, uh, your process and the way your body processes things is going to be differently. And um, even if you do get knocked out of ketosis, some some people will process that faster than others. So um, if you get knocked out of ketosis, and which I am suspecting we will based on what I've heard, but if I get knocked out of ketosis, we're gonna chart that and we're gonna see what happens. So um, that being said, guys, let's get into the measurements. I'm gonna start off with the blood, with the fasting blood pressure. So the fasting blood pressure is coming in a little bit high this morning, 138 over 74 with a pulse of 76. All right guys, now I'm gonna do the fasting glucose measurement. So the fasting blood glucose measurement is 4.5 millimolar, 4.5 millimolar. All right guys, we're gonna move on to the fasting ketone measurement. So my fasting ketone measurement is coming in at two millimolar, two millimolar today. All right guys, another thing to consider is what you're mixing your whey protein with. So um, I'm using a whey protein isolate and it is flavored, vanilla flavored, and I'm gonna mix it with water. I always mix my whey protein with water. I know a lot of people use almond milk or, um, or milk or other things, uh, mix it in their coffees, whatever they do. I use water. Um, so I have in here, I have in my blender bottle, um, 14 ounces measured of water. I'll go ahead and grab a scoop of protein. Shake that up real good. All right, before I before I drink this real quick, guys, I wanna go over the actual nutritional value of this protein breaks down. So we're looking at um, one, one level scoop, which is what I did. We're looking at 120 calories, zero grams of fat, um, two grams of carbohydrate and one gram of fiber. So it would be one gram of net carbs. Um, and we're looking at 26 grams of protein. And this is whey protein isolate, one scoop in 14 ounces of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink this and we'll see what happens. All right guys, so the protein shake is gone. That's 14 ounces of water with one full scoop of whey protein isolate. So I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes. And the countdown started. So I wanna just review this a little bit with you guys. This uh, Vital Labs, the Vital Labs produce whey protein isolate and vanilla flavor. I like this protein because it tastes delicious and it mixes very well. I know when you get into the cheaper proteins and the cheaper brands, sometimes you get that clumpy um, consistency. You don't have any chunks. There's no, there's no smooth or unpleasant flavor. It tastes, it tastes just like a vanilla um, almond milk or something like that. So if you're looking for a vanilla flavored protein shake, uh, I really highly recommend that. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes since we consumed the protein shake. So I'm going to get my blood pressure measurement. So the blood pressure has risen since uh, pre-meal and that was 150, it's currently 150 over 69 with a pulse of 75. Now moving on to the glucose measurement. The blood glucose is coming in at 4.8 millimolar, 4.8 millimolar post 30 minutes post consumption. Moving on to the ketone test. 
So the blood ketones have dropped to 1.3 millimolar, 1.3 millimolar, and that is 30 minutes post-consumption. So it's definitely a drop. It's not zero, but we'll see what happens in 60 minutes. All right, guys, we're back at the 60 minute mark. So let's get some testing going and see what's going on. We're gonna test the blood pressure first. So the blood pressure is coming in at 134 over 71 with a pulse of 76. I'm gonna move on to the glucose reading. Blood glucose is coming in at 4.8 millimolar. This 4.8 millimolar, and that is 60 minutes post post consumption. Moving on to the ketone reading. So the blood ke blood ketone reading is coming in at 1.2 millimolar. The blood ketone reading is coming in at 1.2 millimolar, and that's 60 minutes post consumption. So at the 60 minute mark, we've seen the blood glucose uh, rise slightly and it maintained from the 30 minute mark and the blood ketones have, has, have also come down just a, just a little bit. So we saw that first initial decrease from two millimolar to 1.3 millimolar and now we're at 1.2 millimolar. So I'll check back at the two hour mark and see where we're at. Hey guys, so we're at the 120 minute mark post consumption of the whey protein isolate. I'm gonna go ahead and get my readings and then I'll give you my final thoughts. The blood pressure is coming in at 128 over 67 with a pulse of 64. Moving on to the glucose test. The blood glucose is coming in at 3.7 millimolar, 3.7 millimolar, 120 minutes post consumption. We're gonna get our final blood ketone reading. So the final blood ketone reading is coming in at 1.5 millimolar, 1.5 millimolar, that is 120 minutes post consumption. So what are my final thoughts on whey protein on the keto diet? For me, it seems to be okay. So the testing started out with my blood ketone range at two millimolar, and it did drop down uh, as soon as I consumed. Basically in the first 30 minutes we had a drop down, but I never went below one millimolar on the blood ketone level. So technically I never lost, I never went out of ketosis through the whole process, which is a good thing. So now obviously everything is gonna, it's gonna vary from person to person. Uh, the blood glucose levels um, did drop and then on the 120 minute mark they have dropped significantly so um, I don't know if that, that shows the insulin lowering the blood glucose levels or what the correlation is directly with that but as of right now we did see a, a slight decrease in blood ketones and change in blood sugar levels and uh, with the immediate rise in blood pressure we had some decrease in ketones and we had some decrease in blood glucose but throughout the process my body stayed in ketosis so um, at least for me, whey protein is definitely a go. So, and understand everybody's different, bodies react differently, everything is to be different. So um, don't necessarily take this as this is for you, but I want you to see what's happening to me. So, so let me know how you like this video and leave comments down below. If you can like and subscribe, you'll see more of this kind of stuff and I'll, I'll get more product testing out and I'll do more experimentation. So let me know if there's anything you guys wanna see and I'll do the best I can to get it to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching guys.